Hello mga Matusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, eto na yung part 2 ng learning task number 2 letter B ninyo. Kung saan ang operations na gagawin natin ay multiplication and division naman. Pero bago ko simula ng video na ito, siguraduhin na muna na pindot nyo na dyan ang like button para hindi nyo na makalimutan pa mamaya. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Okay na. So, mga anak, since ito ang part 2, kung ito yung una yung nakita bago yung part 1 natin, stop muna kayo ha. Puntahan nyo muna si part 1 para yung mga sasabihin ko dito makarelate kayo. Kasi medyo na-discuss ko na rin siya ng onting-onte sa part 1. At hindi kayo magtaka paano nangyari yun at bakit nangyari yun. Okay? Kaya, kung hindi pa tapos ang part 1, sige na, punta muna kay part 1 at kayong mga tapos na sa part 1. Let's do it! Okay, we have here number 8. The square root of 12 times the square root of 2. Tata tatandaan ninyo, ba diba, sinabi ko, pwede tayong mag-multiply or pwede lang tayong mag-multiply ng radicals pag pareho sila ng index. Ha? Since ito ay square root at ito rin ay square root, ibig sabihin, pwede natin silang i-multiply kasi pareho sila ng index natin. Okay, so what is now square root of 12 times the square root of 2? You have the square root of 24. Okay, okay na sana itong sagot na ito. Kaya lang, di ba, ang nakalagay sa ating direction dapat nakareduce or nakasimple sa form siya. So, iisip kayo ano bang factors ni 24 wherein uh, meron siyang factor or yung isang factor doon ay may square root. Ngayon, kung sa sagot ninyo wala nang lumabas or simple na siya, okay na. Nagkataon kasi sa akin na pwede pa siya. Kung lumabas na sa inyo dyan ay 11 or 5 or 7. Wala na kasi siya eh, di ba? So, okay na tayo dun ha. Huwag nang ano, huwag nang ma-stress. Dito kasi meron nga. So, anong factors niya? We have 4, di ba? And then 6. So, what is 4 times 6? You have there 24. Ano ang square root ng 4? 2. Kaya ilalabas si 2 and then you have square root of 6. Tatandaan nyo para malaman nyo kung meron pa siyang perfect square na factor, i-divide nyo siya by 4, 9, Aha, 16, 25, 49. Ayan, kasi ito mga perfect square. So, ito ngayon yung gagawin yung uh, other factor. Pag divisible, ibig sabihin siya yun. Kunyari, ito 24 divisible siya by 4. So, factor siya. Kung yung 24 divisible by 9, eh di 9 sana yung nakalag nakalagay dyan. So, that's how you check. Okay? For number 9, we have 4 square root of 15. Imumultiply mo sa sum ng square root of 6 and square root of 5. So, ang gagawin mo, distribute lang yan. Hmm? So, you will have here 4 square root of 15. Ayan. Times square root of 6. Okay. Tapos, i-add mo siya sa 4 square root of 15 times square root of 5. Okay, let's see. What is now 4 square root of 15 times the square root of 6? So, 4 times 1 dito is 4. And then, 15 times 6 is the square root of 90. Okay? Plus, 4 times yung 1 dito is 4. And then, square root of 15 times 5 is the square root of ilan? 75. Tama ba? Teka lang. Inisip ko lang yun eh. 15 times 5 is 25 carry 2, 5. So, you have 75. So, check. Ngayon, magkaiba sila ng radikan, di ba? I-reduce natin sila. Kasi baka mamaya at the end, pareho naman pala sila at pwede natin silang i-add. O, sige nga. Tingnan natin. So, we have here for anong factors ni 90 kung saan yung isang factor niya ay merong square root. O, obvious na obvious naman, di ba? 9 and 10. 
Okay, plus a 4. O, ano yung square root ng 75? O, ano yung factor ni 75 na merong square root? Dahil ending with 5 yan, so we have 25, di ba? So, we have 25 times, ilang 25? Tatlo. And then, we get the square root. Anong square root ng 9? 3. I-multiply sa number sa labas. So, 3 times 4, you have 12 square root of 10. Okay? Plus, uh, ano ang square root ng 25? Uh, 5 times 4, you have 20. So, you have 20 square root of 3. Pwede pa ba silang i-add? Dahil magkaiba sila ng radikand, hindi na pwede. So, yan na yung answer natin. Okay? So, for number 10, we have here negative 2 or negative square root of 2 times 2 square root of 10 minus 4 square root of 6. So, ganun pa rin, magdi-distribute pa rin tayo ha. Tanggalin lang natin to. So, you will have here negative square root of 2 times 2 square root of 10. Okay? Minus, you have here uh -huh, negative square root of 2. Ito yun, minus, oh, times pala, kasi nagmumultiply tayo, 4 square root of 6. O, baka mali to, ha, times yan, kasi nagdistribute tayo. Teka, ayusin ko lang. Oops, wait lang, ha? Wait, wait, ayaw ba? Ayaw mo ba? Ayaw mo ba? Ayan, gusto naman pala niya. Okay, so we have this one. So, what is now this one? Negative square root of 2 times 2 square root of 10. So, negative 1 ito ha. May invisible 1 dito. So, negative 1 times 2, you have negative 2. Now, square root of 2 times square root of 10 is square root of 20. Minus, you still have negative 1 dito, diba? So, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. So, negative 4. Okay. And then, 2 times 6 is square root of 12. Okay. So, dahil magkaiba sila, diba, i-reduce natin. Ano ngayon ang uh, factors ni 20 na merong square root yung, yung isang number niya? So, you have negative 2, diba, square root of 4 times 5. Ngayon, ito na, naiiritan na ako dito. Pwede naman i-multiply yan, di ba? Negative times negative is positive. Or KCC nyo, KCC. Keep, change, and then change. So, this will become positive na. Ito, positive na rin ito, ha? 4, and then what is the square root of 12? Ano yung factor ni 12? Or factor si 12 na yung isa meron din square root? Eh, di 4 times 3. Okay, so you will have here, ano ang square root ng 4? 2 times negative 2, you will have here negative 4, square root of 5. Plus, ano yung factors ni, oh, ano yung square root ng 4? 2, ba? 2 times 4, you have 8. And then, square root of 3. Ayan na ba yung answer, ma'am? Ayan na po ang ating answer. Kasi hindi na sila pwedeng pagsamahin pa. Okay? Okay, for number 11, we have the square root of 16 over 25. O, madali lang to. Ano ang square root ng 16? 4. Kasi 4 times 4 is 16 over 25. O, yan lang yun. Okay, for number 12, o, tatandaan ninyo na bawal magkaroon ng radical sign sa denominator. So, you have to rationalize. So, para ma-rationalize ito, imumultiply natin both numerator and denominator by square root of 8. Kasi square root lang naman. Diba? Ito yun nandito. So, dapat dalawang 8 para ma-cancel siya. So, you, you will have here, sorry, square root of 2 times square root of 8 is square root of 16. Over k5 times the square root of 64. Okay. So, you will have here, ano ang square root ng 16? 4. Tama. And then, ano ang square root ng 64? 8, diba? Kasi 8 times 8 is 64. Times 5, you will have here 40. And, and then, pwede pang i-lowest term, mga anak. Kung pwedeng i-lowest term, i-lowest term. Kung hindi na pwedeng i-lowest term, edi wag nang i-lowest term. Baka mamaya namumurblema kayo. Bakit si ma'am kaya may extra, ano pa, procedure na naglo-lowest term? Bakit yun sa akin, hindi, pa, hindi na nalo-lowest term? Okay lang yun, ha? Kung hindi na, edi hindi na. Kung pwede pa, edi pwede pa. O, divided by 4, ba Para ma-lowest term. So, you will have your 1 over 10. Ito na yung answer ko.
Okay, for number 13, we have here 3 cube root of 2 and then over cube root of 3. Kung mapapansin nyo, cube root tayo, ba? Kanina, kaya isang 8 lang yung nilagay ko or square root lang yung nilagay ko dito kasi dalawa lang yung kailangan mo. Dito, tatlo to, ba? So, dalaw tatlo ang kailangan mo. Eh, meron ka ng isa. So, kailangan mo pa ng dalawa para mabuo mo yung cube. So, instead na 3 lang yung ilalagay mo, dodoblehin mo yung 3. Kaya, magiging 9. Nagets ba yun, ha? So, you will have your 3... Ah, no. We have here cube root of 9. Ayan. Cube root of 9. Okay? Kasi pag 3, hindi mo makukuha yung cube root niya. Dapat tatlong 3. 3 times 3 times 3. Eh, meron ka ng 3. Tapos dalawang 3 yung 9. Kaya siya naging 9. Okay? Now, we have here, multiply natin 3. Eto, times 1 is 3. And then, 2 times 9 is 18. And then, you have the cube root. Over the cube root of 9 times 3 is 27. Alam nyo yung cube root ng 27, di ba? That's 3. So, you have here 3 cube root of 18 over 3. Now, pwede nyo makancel to, di ba? Pwede nyo ma-divide yung 3 over 3. Kaya, ang matitira na lang ay, okay, this one na. Cube root of 18. Kasi yung cube root, of 18. Ay, kasi walang cube root ang 18. Kaya yan na yung answer. Ngayon, kung sakaling hindi na-cancel dito, kunyari, lumabas sa inyo dito, 2. I know. 2 over 3. O, di susulat nyo pa rin siya. 2 cube root of 18 over 3. Ha? Hindi palaging pareho tayo dapat ng procedure. Ah, ng end procedure. Kasi baka mamaya dun sa final answer no, hindi naman pwedeng ma-cancel. Baka pinipilit nyong i-cancel, ha? Siyempre, dapat mag-iisip din. Hindi na pwede, kaya hindi na pwede. Okay, wag nang ipilit. Now, for number 14, we have this one. O, last two na lang tayo. Okay, natatandaan ninyo ang conjugate, ba? Since may operation tayo between these two, kailangan natin kunin natin yung conjugate niya. At ang conjugate nito ay minus. So, you have to multiply it by 5, sorry, minus square root of 3 over 5 minus square root of 3. So, you have to have both, ha, they distribute to it dito. So, you will have your 5 square root of 5 minus 5 times square root of 3 square root of 15. Okay, over, ano ito? So, naalala nyo yung procedure natin, ini-square natin to, tapos minus square nito. May nagtatanong, ma'am, bakit negative? Laging negative yan, ha? Kasi kung matatandaan ninyo, yung tinuro ko sa inyo na x plus y, x minus y, ba? Ang procedure lang yan, square mo lang to, x squared, and, and then square mo lang to, y squared, and then you have to put minus. Kasi yung middle term nila ay nakakancel. O kunyari, eto, sige, i-multiply mo. Tapos, i-multiply mo dito. Pag in mo yan, zero siya. Kaya, wala siyang middle term. E, pag minultiply mo yung y, positive y, saka negative y, di ba negative y squared? Kaya, lagi siyang negative. So, i-square natin to, 5 squared minus the square root of 3, and then you square it. Kaya, ito ay magiging, ilan? 5 square root of 5 Minus square root of 15 over, ano to, 25, okay, minus, cancel ito, cancel ito, kasi naka-squared naman siya, so 3. So, your final answer will be, ano, will be what? Okay, 5 square root of 5 minus square root of 15. What is 25 minus 3? You have 22. Okay, yan yung answer natin. For the last one, number 15, we have 3 minus the 4th root of 5x squared over 4th root of 3x raised to 3. Kung mapapansin nyo ha, 4th root. So, hindi ka lang basta ito, multiply mo dito. No. 
Ano ba ang kailangan ni 3? Ilan ang kailangan ni 3 na 3 pa para maging 4 siya? Or para maging 4 siya? So, that will be 3 times 3 times 3. Kasi may isa ka na, kailangan mo pa ng 3. What is 3 times 3 times 3? You have 27. Ilan ang kailangan ni cube ni x raised to 3 para maging x raised to 4 siya? Kailangan niya pa ng isang x. Kaya dito mo siya multiply. So, multiply mo siya by the 4th root of 27x over, we have here the 4th root of 27x. Okay? So, you will have here, distribute ha, 3 and then the 4th root of 27x. Okay, and then minus, ilan nito? 5 times 27. What's that? We have, pakimultiply nga, <laughs> mga anak, 27 times 5, 35 carry 3. So, we have 10, 13, so 135. So, you will have here the fourth root of 135, x raised to 3. Okay, over. So, eto, ang mangyayari dito ay 3 times 27 is 81. So, the fourth root of 81, x raised to 4. So, we will have here now this one. Copy lang yun nasa taas. Ayan. Minus the 4th root of 135, x raised to 3, over, ano ang 4th root ng 81? 9. Ay, 9 tuloy, 3. And then, ano ang 4th root ng x raised to 4? x. Okay, so this is our answer. Ayan! Yehey! Tapos na. So, ganun lang anak ha. Ngayon, syempre, kung natutunan nyo ang video na ito at nakatulong sa inyo ito para sagutan ang mga modules nyo, please i-comment yan dito ha. Huwag aalis at huwag mag-stop dito sa ating video na ito nang hindi pa kayo nakakapag-comment. At syempre, bisitahin nyo naman ang Facebook page natin at i-follow nyo naman din siya. Okay? Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and and bye!